What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I am a diagnosed narcissist and I use my platform all over social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and the thrivers of this disorder. Today, we're going to be talking about your greatest power, one of your greatest powers. In the, in the, in the, against a narcissist, in defense against narcissism, the personality disorder, toxic traits, toxic people, and whatnot. So, if y'all hear me in the background, I got, I'm on uh, daughter duty, and there she is right behind me. She will not leave me alone. You see her? She's right there. My little, my little head on my shoulder today. Um, but yeah, yeah. So she, she, she loves when the camera's on. She kept, always comes and tries to get on camera. Um, but your greatest defense against a narcissist or a toxic person is like, I know I've said this before, y'all. I know you believe you. You say the same thing over and over again. Look, I have to reiterate this point because it's such a powerful point. Your greatest defense, one of your greatest weapons against a narcissist is actually being able to control yourself. Self-control and self-love are going to be some of your greatest powers against a narcissist or a toxic person. It just they just are, y'all. I know it's a lot. I know it's, it seems so simple, but controlling your reactions is a is like a superpower that narcissistic people don't want you to have. Toxic people don't want you to be able to be in control of your emotions or your reactions when it comes to dealing with them. They just don't want you to have that ability. They just don't want you to be in control of anything around them. They want you to, they don't want you, any, they don't want any kind of control coming from you at all. So when you're dealing with narcissists, toxic people, whoever, I know re reactive abuse is a real thing. If you don't know, what re if you don't know what reactive abuse is, is when a narcissist or a toxic person just pokes and pro pokes and prods you and keeps getting you on your nerves until guess what? You explode. You react out of character. You become. You look like the monster. You look like the abuser a lot of times. You're yelling. You're screaming. Look. You're all, it's out of character. You re, you are reacting out of character. I used to be such a good person, but now I'm screaming and yelling. I don't feel like a good person. They get and guess what happens? A lot of times when you can't control your reactions, guess what happens? You get recorded. They record you. They post you on social media, and you look like the abusive person. You just do. You do. I'm not saying you are the abusive person. I'm saying you look like the abusive person because now you're on camera reacting to them. And typically when a narcissist is, when you're doing, when you're reacting to them, they immediately start to play the victim. Oh, why are you yelling at me? Why are you screaming at me? Why are you doing this thing? Why are you doing all this stuff to me? I didn't, I, I don't deserve this. Y'all look and see what I deal with. Y'all see what I deal with all the time? And they'll record you and post you. This could be used as part of their smear campaign against you. And guess what happens too? You react, you start doing things out of character. You start throwing stuff, yelling, trying to hit them, trying to put your hands on them. Guess what happens? They also, they record you, and guess what? They call the police on you. They call the police on you. Now they have evidence to make it look like you're the aggressor. Now you have charges pending. Then I say controlling your reactions is literally, 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 you got an H, and I put an H in there, an H and an R in there, literally, literally, controlling your reactions is literally a superpower. Not everybody can do it. It's you're like, you have to be at zen and at peace. Because these narcissistic people, which I'm one of, I'm still a narcissist, y'all, are going to poke you and try to get you to react. And they're going to remain calm. They're going to remain calm in the face of you yelling and screaming. Y'all see what I did right here, y'all? I told y'all. <laughs> modern women. If, if, it's a, if it's one of these red pill men to get you, modern women, y'all, look at this modern woman reacting to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I say that all the time. Control your reaction. I know it. Yeah, I know it's easier said than done. It's hard when we have kids, Lee. It's hard when you live with them, Lee. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. I know it's hard. I understand it. But you have to get. You have to work on it. Anything that's worth doing is worth working at. Worth worth getting good at. Is it like I'm telling you? It's a superpower to hone in on. Like you control your reactions. And like controlling your reactions. If they can't. If they can trigger you. This is why I say too. If they can trigger you. They can control you. That's point blank period. If they are in control of your emotions, you are not in control of your, of your of little, 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 narcissistic robot. Resetting. Slowing down. Powering back up. If they can, if you are not in control of your reactions, they are in control of your reactions. If they can trigger you, 
they can control you. So the opposite is true, y'all. If they cannot trigger you, they cannot control you. Like I said, you have to empower yourself to not react to them because if you react, guess what happens? If you react, you lose. You just do. This is not me trying to just like, well, Lee, you make it seem so simple. I know it's not simple. This is not me trying to gloss over anything or make it seem like it's a simplistic way of thinking. This is me letting you know that as a narcissist, people who, who, uh, who I can't trigger, I can't control. I'm telling you this information from my mouth, from my brain to you to hear. She's singing Moana. You see my daughter behind me. Um, she's singing Moana right now. <laughs> um, but yeah. Y'all see what's going on. You see the mindset of a lot of narcissists and toxic people is to be in control of you. It's absolutely, it's absolutely to control you. That's why if they can't tro- control you, y'all, they typically, sometimes if they can't control you, they'll get rid of you. They'll get rid of, they'll discard. They typically discard and get rid of the people they feel like they cannot control. They have no control over. How do I get them to leave me alone? If they feel like they're not getting the reaction from you that they want, they can, they will absolutely, they, sometimes they'll leave you alone. Or, 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 here it is right here. If when you, when you learn how to control your reactions, guess what happens, guess what happens next? When you learn how to control your reactions, they might, and one, if one trigger doesn't work, they'll move on to the next trigger. They'll move on to the next trigger. They'll move on to the next trigger. And yes, women can be narcissists as well, but if it, typically if it's a man, a male narcissist, they're going to try to intimidate you physically. Typically, that's, that's the next move. If their words aren't doing enough, they might physically, they might physically try to intimidate you. They might try to do that. You okay? <laughs> Thank you. She's handing me she's handing me medals. Oh, a stethoscope. She's handing me a stethoscope. Thank you. Um, but yeah, if they can't trigger you, if they get no reaction from you, then guess what? You can win. This is like literally, it sounds it sounds so simplistic, but you are literally in a battle against narcissistic people. If they're not going to get help, if they're not working on themselves, if they're not sitting in a therapist chair or actually trying to exhibit some consistent change behaviors, then yeah, you might need to start planning your exit. I don't tell everybody to leave. People come in my, in my comments and say, well, you're a hypocrite, Lee Hammock. A hypocrite. You're a hypocrite, Lee Hammock, because you keep telling everybody to leave, but your wife stayed or whatever. And I, and I tell y'all, consistent change behavior is the only thing. I've been in therapy for five years. My behaviors have been consistently changing. What more do you, what more do you want from me? Shout out to Tyrese. Um, seriously, it's a mindset thing, y'all. If you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, understand that they, they're going to do it. They're going to try to push you. They're going to try to trigger your, trigger your emotions and things like that. If they, if they can't like, and also the second best weapon, I know I was, what, the second best, what are the second best weapons that you can use against narcissists is self validation. If you learn how to validate yourself and you no longer need that person for, for, for if you learn how to validate yourself, inner validation, self love, if you learn how to do those things right there, then you can win as well. If you learn how to validate yourself and you don't need it from them, you can win against this in this battle. It's here. It's a mental battle. Most times, sometimes it can get physical, but a lot of times it's a mental battle. It just absolutely is. So if you're dealing with a bunch of narcissists, you're dealing with a bunch of toxic people, whoever, whatever, whomever, you are, you can be in control. You absolutely 100,000% can be in control of these situations. You have to empower yourself. You have to continue to move forward and you have to you know take the, take the progressive steps. Controlling your reactions and learning to validate your, validate yourself, getting the inner validations. You don't need their approval. You don't need them. You don't need them to tell you look, you look good. You don't need them to tell you they're they're proud of you. You don't need them to clap. You don't need them to clap for you. You don't need them to celebrate your successes. You do that. You do that on your own. Take back. That's how you take power from a narcissist. That's how you strip it down. That's how you do it right there. That's absolutely how you do it. That's how you take power back. That's how you strip it down, and that's how you empower yourself. Controlling your reactions and giving love to yourself. I, I said this yesterday in a video. You have to, like the river of self love, the river of love coming from you is directed towards that narcissistic person. R- damn up, damn up the river of your love and redirect that river back to yourself. Give it to you. Stop giving it to them. If they're not earn, if they're not earning it, you have to like in relationships. You have to continuously update your resume. Narcissistic people is like a job application. When you do narcissistic people. You know, in a toxic relationship or whatever, you have to continuously update your resume. Narcissistic people, they might qualify for the job at first based on their resume, the love bombing that they do. 
But later on, when the love bombing stops, they got look, they got some discretion. They got some they got some red marks on them. They in trouble in this relationship. This relationship is like a job. They in trouble in this job. They need to update your resume. What have you done for me lately? What have you been doing to work on yourself lately? Oh, your resume looks exactly the same as it did five months ago when you cheated on me. So I'm, I'm gonna have to, your services here are no longer needed. Update your resume. Redirect the river of self-love from them to yourself. Give it to you. Update your resume, update yours. Update your own personal resume as well. What have you done for you? Not just what you're doing for them, not what you're doing for your kids. What have you done for you? Give back to yourself. You've been giving to them for long enough. Thank you. Will you give me my medal back? Thank you. Here. Here, I'm going to put it on my head. Here. Give me the medal. Look. Give me the medal. You on camera now? You taking it? Thank you. <laughs> uh, she, she, yeah, this is my boo. This is my little baby. Um, anyway, y'all, I'm going to just cut this thing short. But thank y'all so much for everybody who came through to the live event. Uh, meet and greet yesterday in Durham, North Carolina. I'm so super, super thankful. So blessed. Thank you all for like pictures, whatever. If y'all got some pictures, send them to me and whatnot. Thank y'all for coming through. I'm truly just, we're blessed, y'all. Narc Avengers, hashtag is going off. Thank y'all so much. Really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all because as much as y'all learn from me, I promise you, promise you, promise you, I'll learn even more from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like and subscribe for more. Mental Illness is out. Peace.